Plyometric push-ups. Explode off the floor as far as you can while keeping your body ramrod straight. Touch or almost touch your chest to the floor before you explode the next one. Don't worry how many you can do. Do them with great form because that's where the power comes from. The farther you can explode off the floor, the more powerful you're getting. When you lose form and speed, stop that set and rest for at least a minute and no more than two minutes. Start with a couple sets and work up. Muss layups. This is a very tough exercise that takes a lot of strength. Go slowly. If you can do 15 good pull-ups, you can do a muscle-up. When you can do a bunch of muscle-ups your arm strength and upper body strength are outstanding. Plyometric jumps. On grass or another soft surface, spring as high as you can over a bar or other barrier. Land as softly as you can, if you're doing this on a wooden floor especially. Immediately spring back up and jump over the bar in the other direction. As you gain endurance you'll be able to do more jumps in succession. As you gain power set the bar higher. Dumbbell presses. On an adjustable bench, start with an incline of about 30 degrees. There are 360 degrees in a circle so that's not a lot of tilt. Do narrow straight presses very smoothly with great form while turning your wrists one quarter turn on the press up. Start with weights where you can manage 5 to 8 reps. When you lose form and speed, stop. Don't grunt out extra reps. Use heavier dumbbells as you gain power, speed and strength. Barbell presses build your chest out, strain your shoulders and you can't turn your wrists on the press up. So stick with dumbbell presses because they isolate the triceps better and increase your punching power faster. Barbell squats. For overall body strength use a squat rack and load a weight where you can do 5 to 8 squats with good form, smoothness and decent speed. If you feel lightheaded during the exercise you're going too heavy. Add plates as you get stronger. Be very patient. Add sets as your endurance increases, but never go over 8 sets. 6 sets should be enough. You're not trying to be a powerlifter and don't try to compete with them. Deadlifts. Use an overhand grip. Don't use an overhand, underhand grip. This exercise is partially to increase your hand and grip strength. Keep your back straight, like you do in the squat. This is for overall body strength and power. Choose a weight where you can do between 5 and 8 reps without straining. Remember, train don't strain. Stop the set when you lose form or speed. Add weight as you get stronger but don't try to compete with power lifters. Go for form, smoothness and speed. Don't be in a hurry to add plates and go for personal records. Dumbbell uppercuts. Stand in front of a mirror with dumbbells in hand, at a half curl position. With the weight straight down from your shoulders and your elbows bent at a right angle. Alternately throw uppercuts with either hand through a range of 160 degrees. Start with fairly light dumbbells that make it easy to do the exercise and use heavier dumbbells as the exercise gets easier. Go up in weight slowly. Better too slowly than too quickly to avoid possible injuries that can be caused by straining. Heavy bag. Use a high quality heavy bag between 70 and 100 pounds. Wrap your hands extremely well and use high quality padded bag gloves that fit very well. From as long rang as possible, step around the bag quickly, left and right, and in and out. Throw mostly jabs and a few straight rights from as great a range as you possibly can. Try to use the least effort possible to provide the most power. Try to be as smooth as possible. Be as well balanced, fast and use the best form you can muster. Don't worry about anyone looking at you because it won't feel natural for several weeks. Try to do it for 5 rounds a day. What you're trying to do is improve your range, form, balance, power, footwork, timing and accuracy from distance.